swallowed up in a sea of white supremacy and oppression. And now we're trying to stand again for our people, our ancestors. When we talk about a plebiscite, and I believe that's a government within a government, how can we begin to establish a government when this government are uh, taking out sovereign governments like Haiti and other nations like Louisiana in their own country, they watch them die as long as they're melanated people. How can we develop a nation under such a, a cruel oppressor? It's our birthright, uh, Brother Gideon. It's our birthright, our human right to exist, mm -hmm. to uh, define for ourselves, speak for ourselves instead of others speaking for us. Mm -hmm. And so in this order, it's, it's our natural birthright to do this. And as a mother, it would be one that we would teach our, our babies that we are indeed a captive nation. And I am, I'm glad you recognize that, that I am a mother. Absolutely. A mother of six, as a matter of fact. Praise. And in that, I've had to teach, I've had to teach my children that uh, we are a captive nation. And, and uh, they were born, uh, when they were born, they were given African names. Um, and it, in this time of being in the 21st century, it's not really necessary to know the origin of our roots. We know that um, history has taught us that we are a, a nation within a nation. Uh, back in the days of, our, uh, of the Ma'afa, uh, well, we really kind of still live in the Ma'afa. Right, that's right. Uh, exactly. Endangered uh, time, uh, mm -hmm. era. And uh, back in those days of our enslavement, uh, our names were taken from, our mother tongue was taken from us, our cultural habits and practices was taken from us, mm -hmm. uh, our traditions were taken from us, our, even our religion. And then it was redefined and given back to us, regurgitated, mm -hmm. uh, so to speak, right. uh, throwed up out of, out of the mouths of our oppressors mm -hmm. and given, given to us, and that's what we've you know, we've had uh, King James Version and all other people's version. But also, there are some truths in that version. When you read that piece that you read, it, 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 it defined us. Yes. It defined who we are. Mm -hmm. And so based on uh, some of our, I think our struggle is on two hands. I think that on one hand, we have to uh, uh, go back and, and look at what our history is, our story is. Mm -hmm. We have to go back and look at that mm -hmm. on one hand. That's our spirituality. Uh, that's trying to really decipher some of the old languages and old ways uh, that we've had as a people. Uh, then once we get that information, we're empowered to then arm ourselves to fight against the injustices and to fight for justice that we still continue to face in 2010, which means it's 2,000 years have gone mm -hmm plus 10, right. and so now it's time for us to, to, to look at some, some terms like reparations, mm -hmm. like plebiscite, like sovereignty, mm -hmm. like what a pleb is, mm -hmm. what it means to be a common person, mm -hmm. and to look at their laws, mm -hmm. and to see if we're in that laws. Mm -hmm. we're, uh, we, we're hearing on the second page of your Bible that uh, Ethiopia mm -hmm. was there. So Ethiopia, you know, in, in, in doing our search for the truth, right. Searching for the truth, we find out different things that tell us, um, that give us clues on the path that we're on and thus empowers us to then begin to, to fight for justice. Because everything tells us, everything points to the fact that we're a nation within a nation. Now a nation in my mind, in my thinking from my studies, is that we have a common identity, mm -hmm. That's right. a common uh, uh, language, mm -hmm. a common purpose, mm -hmm. and therefore plotting, being able to plot. Because in our human right to exist means that we can plot our own destiny, exactly. right. plan for our own destiny. And then we then begin to look at what resources is necessary to do that. So we have a common identity. Right. We have a, a, a common, it could be a common land mass, which this would be considered as our national territory. Exactly. Back in the days you had a DJ saying it was 40 million. Some studies say 30 million, but whatever, it's a million, and you can't even count a million really and truly. Okay. You really can't count it. It just keeps on rotating numbers. Okay. So we have a common land mass. Therefore, we begin to, to develop our own common culture. 
It could be based on the biblical times. Mm -hmm. It could be based on times that we, it could be based on hip hop. Mm -hmm. It could be based on whatever we define because freedom is your right to define. That's right. And so we have, our freedom has been interrupted. Mm -hmm. Our freedom has been interrupted. And so we have to utilize our own creativity. In the 60s, we begin to look at the Nguzo Saba, which is, mm -hmm. which is uh, unity and mm -hmm. uh, self-determination mm -hmm. and uh, uh, collective work and responsibility mm -hmm. and cooperative economics. Mm -hmm. And do we have a common purpose? And do we have enough creativity? I think we do. Uh, in terms of being inventors of almost every little thing mm -hmm. that you see in this country, we've had a hand in inventing it. So we have the skill set. So, but we need to also uh, put the skill set with the mindset mm -hmm. and then go forward and redefine. You know, Dr. Thrasher, it, it's uh, it, the most high, uh, it was his will for you to be here. And we appreciate you as the elder statesman of this panel. You know, I see even though you don't have no gray, uh, but of course that's the miracle of your youth. <laughs> and and after having walked with with, Ma, with, with you know Martin and all. <laughs> anyway, you know I had to mention. I'm embraced their their goodness. <laughs> but I mean, what we're dealing with here is certainly an important subject, and the legacy of our elders. Remember, we just read, the children's teeth will not be set on edge because the fathers have eaten sour grapes. However. Our children's teeth have been set on edge because as fathers, we haven't laid a path against the white supremacist regime to let our children know that this system is against us. They are soliciting our children in their higher institutions of education. They, our children like white dolls more than they do dolls that look like themselves. We have continued to kill each other uh, robbing, raping, and, and pillaging, but yet we come from a powerful nation that ruled, once ruled the earth. Why haven't you civil rights leaders uh, under the uh, authority of Jesse and uh, Al and all of the people that claim to have this influence not carved out a pattern and a path for our children and our future? That's a long question. Don't give me a long answer, though. I don't know. I'm going to give you a real answer. <laughs> it's unfortunate that um, when we, we go to talking about um, what we're saying, integrations, which we narrow right down, um, uh, when we look at where we've, where we've been and where we're going, we don't have a clue. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Now, with, even with the educational system set up in such a way that once you are able to bounce over one hurdle, you got to come with another hurdle. Once upon a time, a high school diploma was all you need. Right. Now you need skill for college training to be able to achieve and succeed. Mm -hmm. But now, when we also look back, now we talk about Jesse. And you talk about um, Andy. Andy. And you talk about Joseph Ju Elder Lowry. Most of them are just dead yeah, uh, or dying. But the thing of it is, what do we accomplish? Exactly. That's the question. And that's a good question. What I look at Gillian is, we accomplish absolutely nothing. Some might. Disagree. Well, we've accomplished the highest prison rate in the history of the world for our children. We've accomplished that. Why? We did that to ourselves. We did that to ourselves. We bought into a lie. We bought into the biggest lie that could be ran, and we're buying into it now. You bought into it. Uh-oh. Yeah? Oh, yeah, you bought into it. you here at this TV station right now, making this man millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. You get the pleasure of letting people see your face, but he get the pleasure of filling out paperwork saying this is an educational type program, nonprofit, and he's making millions. Okay, you talk about your birth certificate. Yes, sir. It won't bust a grape. It won't change nothing. It will not change nothing. Getting, uh, I heard you in print say it once, once we learn who we are. Right. Oh, you have all the opportunities in the world to learn. You know who you are. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. I don't know why we keep running out with our identity. Well, why is it on the census you got five different designations for you? So what? Uh, Negro. So I mean, I'm sorry, color. I, I mean, I'm sorry, black. I, I mean, African-American. I, I mean, mulatto. I, but look at what you've done. 
Aren't you doing the same thing? I'm, Indirectly. I, I'm, we got nationalists no, on this panel no, now. We're not talking about nationalists. Go ahead. We're talking.